Hey, uh, folks, Quilly Teen here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Dwarf Fortress. And in this episode, we're going to figure out what the heck's going on with the little gems over here. Now, maybe I'm wrong, and maybe this is always a message that we would get about, like, the strange gems in the walls, but it doesn't seem familiar. It doesn't seem like the message you get when you find candy. Um, but may maybe this is always in there, or maybe it's new, or I don't know. We're going we're gonna to find out here as our dwarves dig deeply and greedily into this space. There we go, gonna go ahead and unpause and see what happens. I'm quite curious. We have a lot of cranky dwarves as well, so that's not very helpful. Let me shrink all these messages down so we can see what comes up as we get there. As far as I know, I think everything's fine, right? We're not actively being attacked or anything weird like that. I don't think so. I think we're all right. Giddy hole. Counterintuitively, sometimes you can dig these paths faster if you make them wider, because more of your dwarves will come down to do some digging, depending on how many miners you've got and whatnot, but I think two tile wide is fine. Now what we're doing here is there's some danger involved, but we're not gonna we're not gonna stress about it. Oh, a caravan has arrived. And a rattlesnake is attacking one of their horses. Well dang, that's just rude. I don't know if that's something I can help with. Um I don't care who gets here first. I'm going to activate all my squads, which is certainly going to be overkill, but... Let me move out here. Oh, I think they killed the, the rattlesnake. No more alerts? Okay, we can cancel the alerts then. Okay. Is it just the rattlesnake that died? That's what it seems like to me, so... All right, good. Um, Let's move goods to from the depot into the bins. I don't even know if there's anything we need anymore, but what the heck. Goods. All right, I guess I can also crunch this down afterwards. I'm just looking for finished goods bins that are top of the list of things because they'll have decent value. Of course, they could still contain artifacts, but you know, at this point, since it's a, uh, a dwarven caravan, I actually won't cry if we end up selling some artifacts off. This does contain um, something that's not meant to be traded. Oh, it's okay, it's an armor bin. We're not doing that anyway. Mm, ammo. I don't know why we've got so much valuable ammo. First of all, we have a lot of ammo build bins, and secondly, they're remarkably valuable. Which I don't quite understand. Wow, these gems. We may not have that many finished good bins. I mean, I can sell a gem, a bin of like... There you go. Maybe we'll do that. We'll go ahead and sell them some raw gems. I mean, I think they've been cut. But I mean, as opposed to encrusted. We'll ask for a broker to head over there, although obviously it'll take a few minutes for them to unpack. Meanwhile, how's the diggy diggy hole going? It's going! Tetrahedrite over here. Nothing I need. We think we need to specifically excavate. We've got a few chunks of it as we go, but that's fine. Yes, dig more deeply and greedily. That's never worked out bad for a dwarven stronghold. You're here, or you're moving towards it. I guess actually, I'll do this just in case you can have your meeting with the Dwarven rep first. Weirdly still sitting on no job. Why are you... Huh. Can I sort by profession? No, that won't quickly find them. That's too bad. <clears throat> there you go. Pick up equipment. Okay. Oh, and we haven't even gotten all our items yet either, so that's all right. Yeah, it's a little nervous. Um, we are digging near some magma. Well, not really. I think here we're quite a bit above, and here we're quite inside a pillar. We might not hit any warm stone along the way, but we'll see. There's a reacher that's grabbing a child somewhere. Right over there. And the child's coming back. So the child's coming in to kick its butt. Don't mess with the kid. Yeah, see, the child is punching the reacher, bruising the lung, bruising the muscle, bruising the guts. You don't mess with dwarven children. We'll put a one kill command with one of our squads and see how that works out. Oh, there you go. Dwarven Child kicks the Reacher in the right hand uh, with her left foot and the injured part collapses into a lump of gore. Do not mess with Dwarven Children. I don't know what they're made of. I guess pure adamantine, but they are creepy. All right, conducting meeting. They were heading over here for a scooch, but... Oh, reindeer calf starved to death. That's because we didn't, um, didn't get put them in a... Uh, in a grazing pasture. 
And I find it kind of a little annoying. Okay, conducting meeting, which actually just might be like a mayoral meet. Well, not a mayoral. A, a, well, they are the mayor, so actually they are p potentially doing that. And yeah, dealing with a dwarf who's cranky. Oh, we did go from 11 cranky dwarfs to 10. So slight improvement. Yeah, overall, hopefully we don't get anyone throwing any real significant tantrums. Just fingers crossed there. All right. Keep on keeping on. How's the rest going? I mean, drink. Hey, we actually don't have a stupendous number of drinks. What are we doing on stills? I mean, I'm assuming we got plenty. Brew drink from plant. Got those over here. And some people are at work doing that. Okay. There you go. Diplomacy. Um. Oh! Continue impressive. Come to empowered to elevate this land in the eyes of our realm. Excellent. So we're going to get a title increase from Baron to something else. I don't know if they go sequentially, if they can jump a rank, uh, but presumably after Baron would be Count, then Duke. I don't know. I don't think I'm going to make any specific requests here. Just bring whatever. You're going to want crystal glass toys next year. Well, I don't know if that's going to happen, but, you know, sure. Storing item in bin. I think we saw them uh, picking up some equipment at some point, so they were probably just putting that equipment away. When, is there any chance they're in our military? So I kind of don't mind marking everything here. 39,000 dwarf bucks, we can give them. Although it might be nice to also give them like an actual gift, right? Rather than just give them a good trade deal. Let's hold those two back. And out of curiosity, if I were to mark everything on this side, we actually can basically get everything over here. Um, let's say no to these cut gems. No to these blocks. I don't care about those. I'm just trying to make sure they turn a slight profit. Let's not get the really expensive flask. And you know what? I will say no to all these animals. I'm going to trade there, giving the trader 3,400 dwarf bucks worth of profit. So we will trade. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to offer everything else we still have over here and just offer it as a gift. Excellent. Now, unless the caravan gets ambushed on the way home, that will be even better for ranks. So we're going to say no over there. Sword Dwarf, Cave Toad, okay. Been a little slower over here. Right, we do have some extra stuff going on and some combat. There has been an update to Dwarf Fortress since the last time I recorded, I think, that has improved the, uh, the line of sight calculation, which apparently, um, we always said when a fortress gets quite large, things slow down, your frame rate goes down. And we always blamed, we as in kind of all players of Dwarf Fortress, blamed pathfinding. You know, more more units move around, there's more pathfinding, that's clearly what's slowing things down. And it didn't help that it is possible to end up with certain degenerate cases where it's quite clear that like, you lose tons of frame rate from something pathfinding related. Apparently doors is quite, like locked doors is often, um, a, uh, a culprit and we've certainly seen it in our games with not locked doors but rather a wild animal that got stuck behind uh some doors trapped in our, our butcher's room for example and leading to massive amounts of dramatic slowdown until we killed the animal or left it out of uh of the area and so that was quite clearly a pathfinding issue but normally like the dwarves kind of like when they're looking for something they do a pathfinding calculation and then then they're good what water Anyway, to finish the thought, yeah. So they sort of pathfind once, and they're, they're kind of good until they reach their destination, they pathfind again. Um, and the person who has just been hired as a new programmer on Dwarf Fortress, apparently, I, th I, th I was going to say, I think she, I think she is the pronoun. Anyway, apparently they um, had already, even as a non-programmer a few months ago, had done some like, you know, looking at the, some, doing some decompiling and, and looking at the function calls that way, and had actually determined that the biggest frame rate hit when your fortress got larger was actually line of sight calculation. So they have gone and, um, uh, I think that's one of the first things they did. How is there water in here? Got obsidian, which sort of makes sense. Lava plus, or magma plus water equals obsidian. Huh. What the heck? Okay, let's do... Um, I have no idea what's going on here. We got warm stone, we got what? There might be magma on the other side. Warm damp. Well, you know what? For dwarven science... Let's see what happens when we do this. 
Oh, I don't think... Oh, yeah, I did this slightly incorrectly. Go here, pull up to here. There we go. Okay. I have no idea what's going to happen. This could turn out very badly. Well, I mean, it's only ever going to turn out so badly. We'll be fine. What could possibly go wrong? I'm just really curious to see what we will see here. And then the other thing we can do, if there's a sort of a lack of vision overall, yeah, like here, we might be able to do some more vertical shafts quite out leading down towards the magma sea in a few places, just to give us a little bit more vision to see if we can find something truly awesome. We do have to wait forever for our dwarves to come down here, of course. We're quite deep down. What is that? Hey, we do have a lot of cranky dwarves. Cave crocodile, okay. Whoa! The way that that redrew, that's so fun. Ah! And that meet them that needs. They're winded a little bit. Do you have a, a fixed schedule? We do have a patrol schedule. I'm wondering, are you part of this group? The wires are packing. Yeah, okay. Tell you what, I'm going to tell this group here to go officially off duty. It's possible they haven't had enough time to chillax. Oh, did I designate this wrong? I think I did. Hold on. You were supposed to be dig down that way. There we go. I wonder if I should cancel this actually. Check the stone for heat. We checked that stone for heat. What devilry is this? Smoke. So it was a not hot stone? So why aren't you... I'm a little confused. Let me start from here. Dig down that way. I don't know where you're like... Deep within the strange place, we've uncovered what must be a treasure of the gods. A sock? An artifact sock! I, I I feel like we've just come completely full circle with the Dwarf Fortress lair, lore. Um, yeah, it is a pair of named socks. No detail. Large faceted metal sock, craft worship of the highest quality. Um, we had a fortress that died from an undead wielding a sock basically murdering everyone in the fortress, which is amazing. And it's one of our greatest achievements, sort of, maybe not in Dwarf Fortress. And here we are. Did we, is this, I know you can sometimes find kind of like underground dungeons, which maybe this is, but it's not, it's not very big. It's just a random, what is happening? I've never, ever seen this. And maybe it's something that's always been there and I've just, you know, have never seen it. Or maybe it's something completely different. What happens if I go here? And I actually meant to be digging upwards. Oh, you're going to screw up my little. There you go. Dig to here. What happens if we attempt to dig down this pillar this way? Deep, 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 deep. To there. They're leaving. Yeah, from here, dig across here, and then down onto this side of things. I have I have no idea what's happening. I am legitimately very confused and very intrigued. Sorry, I know I like keep moving up and down. I'm just keep trying to give myself a sense of of where we are in here in verticality. Huh. Oh, 
Uh, little fire snake. Totally normal. Little magma dweller. Is this okay? That is full of magma. Oh, hey! I'm gonna start a, an artifact. Okay. Well, that's exciting. Craft store workshop. Yeah. So not a proper mutable skill, unfortunately. But that's the way it goes sometimes. And what's this one here? Okay. So let's just keep an eye on them, make sure they've got everything they need as they go and collect their... You, check that stone for heat. What devilry is this? What is happening? Again, this may have been something that's been in, in the game this entire time. And weirdly, I've just never hit this. What do we have down here? More water. Yes, yeah, so that's going to interrupt our digging down. Okay, so clearly digging down here is not really going to work out. A pillar filled with water. Oh, begin mysterious construction. Okay, so I guess they got everything they wanted. Okay, what I'm going to do. Over here, we've got some magma sea stuff. But uh, you can see here we don't have vision. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plan on digging down to this area. So staircase from here. Just go up a tile. We go and up a few more levels until where's our established staircase over there. Good. So go to regular mining mode. Let's do this and see what we see. And human bard punches the rattlesnake. All right. Sounds a little scary to me, but I'm not going to argue with bards. They're too good with words. We'd never win an argument. Mismatch, need steel bars, mood. Now we do have um we do have our forging area over here. Uh, we don't have any rocks sitting around. We have some hematite. We might have to do some more specific digging out of some veins. It'd be really great if there were some um, um iron ore, iron bearing ore over here, but I don't see it. I think I might go ahead and. Activate some vein mining here. Some gems, the Galena, because why not? Silver. And we're getting plenty of silver. Heck, I might even want to go ahead and do the tetrahedrite here for a little supply of copper. You know, I'll do some more over there, but then... Any chance we hit, like, hematite or something in one of these walls? Uh, Citerite, which I think is copper. Trahedrite. Now, different, um... Ooh, magnetite crown. Ooh, very fancy. Hold on, we'll definitely take a look at that in a second. Um, different cavern layers will, or levels, will have different ores. So there are different, I don't, I mean, I don't know what the geology terms are the different layers of stone but we will see different things in different layers so i'll do a few more little exploratory tunnels this is actually not a bad thing to have a little macro for well hello oh i can't click here pause click okay we got to look at the artifact but wait what Oh, we never actually found, I guess, the accessible walkable part of Cavern Level 3 before. And now we have. We have Bloodthorn. Yeah, that is pretty freaky. Very freaky sounding. Open space. What is this? A creepy crawler. Awesome. That sounds... That's just wonderful. Uh, okay, so right now we are above the surface. Oops. Where was this? It's over here at minus 60. The actual surface level would be down here. Let me cancel all this. Um, I will ask for a wall to be constructed here. Yeah, you can just grab granite because it's literally in that tile. And then if we go down a level, I'm kind of okay with the idea. At this point, we're going to take some risks. We're, 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 you know, we're going to be greedy. We're going we're gonna to do something like this. And we might send the squad out over here to take a look at this. So if we hotkey, um, center here, this 
is certainly Cavern 3. And we can probably even access the magma somewhere in here. Unless this is Cavern 2. I don't think so. What hockey was that? Uh, cavern 3, presumably, is F7. All right, let's take a look at our artifact that was made. So, F Erithunal, labored, blunted. This is a magnetite crown. All craft worship is of the highest quality. Object is adorned with hanging rings of nickel and menaces with spikes of magnetite and aardvark bone. 5,000 dwarf bucks. Yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. We can uh, we can set a, a defended cavern burrow at some point over here too if we want. Invar kicks the rattlesnake in the head, turning into an undescribable mass. Uh, I might want to make sure I've got. Let's get two of the melee squads. I'm just going to position them down here, ready to go for when this opens up. We got creepy hands, but we'll also want to do a little exploration. Creepy crawlers. I mean, the art for this is. Definitely creepy. It just looks like a mass of fingers. Uh, where did it go? Oh, there. So if I... Can I not click? Is it because I haven't... Oh, I'm still on the wrong level? No. Wait, it's not on the ground? It's... Oh, it's climbing the tree. Did they change it so we can't click on... Uh, bad guys anymore? And get descriptions? I don't know. Hey, where'd my miners go? Let me make this a super high priority mine, please. Dig, dig, dig. Okay. Let's send out our military. I'll do some vision. Is it in the air? It's currently not climbing on anything either. Okay, creepy crawlies are a lot creepier than I ha should give them credit for. There's some over here too. I'm just going to keep moving my squad over here just to uncover vision. Oh, this might be the edge of the map. Yeah, it is. As we can see by the mini map. Send them in this direction. Which should expand our vision over here. Go stand on the slope, please. Thank you. Uh, this is not the top of the map, so if we do send someone over here, there you go. As soon as they get close, it uncovers these little chunks. Uh, what about over in this direction? I guess the crawlies are not even... Maybe they're just vermin. Like rats and things, which you can't click on. I had assumed they were, you know, attackable monsters, but they might just count as vermin. I guess this is the bottom floor of this cavern level. All right. Uh, what about over here? If we can see it, I think we can path to it. Well, I mean, there could be super sharp cliffs and things, but presumably there's a way to get over here. With some combination of going up and down various floors. Let's see if they can. Oh, there we go. What is this? Mole Marion Mangled Skeleton. Blind cave ogre blood. All right. Certainly evidence of some things. Let's explore down over here. Okay, maybe this, this might be cavern level two. If it doesn't reach the magma sea, because I thought cavern level three always accessed the magma sea, but I might be wrong. Things might have changed, right? I'm not actually certain. If spider bites human crossbowmen, that's probably just someone who is here to, uh, for the purpose of eradicating monsters or whatever. Okay, well, I'm sure there's going to be more that gets discovered as we go, but I will go ahead and cancel those orders. Now, we're only a few Z levels above, which, I mean, makes sense, because we were doing this little crosswise jaunt, the one who popped into this. I guess I still want to sort of head over here. Okay, let's do... You know what? I am going to make it high priority mine because I'm very curious to see what's over here. Let's do this. Dig out this way, please. I still am so confused 
by that um, column of gems filled with water. Oh, found dead. Did you lose your battle against the rattlesnake? Or wait, what were you fighting over here? Giant cave spider ven. That's what it was. Good job not eradicating things. Oh, and we've got children here playing make-believe. Great. I mean, dwarven children, there's something wrong with them. What I might do is carve a path through here. Oh, I may have not wanted to do it with priority one, actually. I mean, we can make this a low priority thing. Just at some point, carve a path through here. It'll make it easier for us to walk around. Oh, there's a bunch of crundles in here. Well, that's definitely going to lead to some fighting. Oh, well. Fighting is fun. And right now, I'm kind of looking for max fun. Seeing what kind of trouble I can get ourselves into. Petition. Sure. Microcline. Tetrahedrite. All right. Look at these structs. Uh, right, there's magnetite over here. Okay, it's not terribly exciting, but I guess it's there. Um, I will give you a priority seven vein mine over here. And I'm going to make sure... I don't think we have a smelt magnetite command. But magnetite is iron bearing. You got at least 10 magnetite. Smelt 10 magnetite ore. Okay. I might want to keep this as a high priority stair dig from here down. Yeah. And then I might have to go and just fast for a little channel here so that we can actually peek down into that area. Hmm. Cave spider. Wow, there's a cave spider killing a lot of stuff. I'm wondering. Right there. I'm gonna send um my all my squads on a specific kill command over here. To take out. Oh, see, it's killed enough stuff has a name. Tail squashes. Duto Malstral, the cave spider. Um, is it under kills? Only one kill, but I guess they, they gave you a notable kill, so now you've been named, right? It's very that's very classic sort of like mythology and things. These these things develop a reputation. How come it didn't happen? Is it dig a channel? Oh, right. It's because it interpreted um the warm stone here, which makes sense. It's warm stone because it's above magma, but we already know about it, and it should be fine. I don't think that actually worked properly. Let me try this again. Stairs. Yeah, top priority. Down to here. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Right. I forgot it changes the symbols um, when you're in mining mode versus not. Actually, can I say stair from here down this way? And will it dig an up-down stair over there? No. Because that's normally how I do this. I would just put an up-down stair right here so that we could see the level below it. But yeah, it won't let me do it with the, the new building system. And I will have to redesignate a channel here because, again, it's like, there's warm stone. I'm like, I know, it's fine. Don't worry about it. This will give us vision down here and we'll expose a bunch more stuff. And maybe we'll find some more excitement. I might want to put a hatch on this after so that um, creatures can't just run up through here. Be cool if you could mouse over this and see how many tiles away the dwarf assigned to this job is. Effectively getting kind of a countdown timer for when they'll arrive. See, there you go. We just sent a dwarven child in there to do the work. <laughs> Look at this! Punches the cave spider in the first leg, uh, tearing the fat, bruising the muscle. Then the dwarven child punches the giant cave spider in the cephalothorax with her left hand, tearing the fat, bruising the muscle, bruising the brain. 
Okay. There's a lot more vision. I am going to go and put down a floor hatch right there. That hopefully won't get too many fire snakes coming through here. Okay, that's the edge of the map that way. Have they just changed how the candy works? I don't know. doesn't seem likely okay we might want to do the exact same thing we just did but over here dig yeah priority one staircase over here actually I guess it'll be quite complaining about heat if I keep trying to dig through this area so it would be better in fact to do another one to do another one of these there. That might cancel here because of warm stone. That'll be okay. I guess I'm going to go and put a cut in here and next episode we're going to keep kind of poking our face into the magma and see what the heck is going on. Folks, thanks a lot for watching. I'm going to see you guys next time. Bye-bye.